it appeared without warning. A new telescope built to track fast-moving space objects in Chile has caught a comet from beyond the solar system moving across the sky. The Rubin Observatory captured the rare footage of the comet known as 31 Atlas. On July 1st, an automated telescope in Chile picked up a ghost, an object from interstellar space moving at an incomprehensible speed. The peculiar thing about it is that uh, it's moving uh, along a trajectory that is very special. They're calling it 3I Atlas. Now get this, it's enormous, the size of an island, and its flight path is a perfect planetary grand tour. It's making a close pass of Mars, Earth, and Venus in a sequence so precise that the odds are almost zero. While most of the world sleeps, a silent debate rages. Is this the largest interstellar comet ever seen, or is it a vehicle? A revolutionary quantum AI is crunching the numbers, and its findings are more shocking than anyone could have prepared for. Interstellar Leviathan On the 1st of July, a robotic eye deep in the Chilean desert blinked, and the course of astronomy changed forever. The Atlas Telescope, a system designed to scan the heavens for incoming threats, flagged something new. It wasn't an asteroid from our own cosmic backyard. It was a ghost a faint, fast-moving object emerging from the blackness between the stars. Codenamed 3I Atlas. It was only the third interstellar object humanity had ever detected, and it was immediately clear that this one was different. This was a monster. The thing nobody tells you is just how fast this visitor is moving. We're talking over 130,000 miles per hour. That's more than 36 miles every single second. At that velocity, it could cross the entire United States in less than two minutes. This blistering pace is nearly double the speed of most objects native to our solar system, a screaming confirmation of its alien origins. But its speed was just the first piece of a puzzle that would soon become deeply unsettling. The second piece was its size. Early estimates placed its diameter anywhere from six to nine miles. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the size of Manhattan Island, making it hundreds, if not thousands, of times more massive than the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua. An object that large, moving that fast, carries an incredible amount of energy. But the real shocker, the detail that sent whispers through the scientific community, was its flight path. It wasn't a chaotic tumble through space. It was precise, calculated, almost elegant. The trajectory of 3I Atlas is set to perform a flawless celestial ballet. On October 2nd, it will swing by Mars at a distance of 17.5 million miles. Then, on December 19th, it makes its pass of Earth at 167 million miles, followed by a 60 million mile flyby of Venus. The chances of a random object, ejected from a distant star system millions of years ago, Navigating a course that perfectly aligns for close passes of four planets are less than 0.005%. It's the equivalent of throwing a rock from another city and having it skip perfectly across four specific ponds in a row. It seems, for all intents and purposes, impossible. This is where the story truly begins, and where the lines between science and science fiction start to blur. Is this just a cosmic coincidence of unimaginable proportions? Or are we witnessing something designed? A path this perfect seems to defy all logic, but the object's behavior up close would prove even stranger, a dark and silent traveler. When astronomers first got a good look at 3I Atlas, they expected to see one thing, a tail. Comets are essentially giant, dirty snowballs. As they get closer to the sun, the heat causes their ice to vaporize, creating a brilliant halo, or coma, and a long streaming tail of gas and dust. It's their signature calling card. But 3I Atlas was silent, dark. Just like Oumuamua before it, this colossal object was flying past our sun without showing any of the typical cometary activity. There was no tail. This fact alone was a massive red flag. How could a nine mile wide ball of ice withstand the sun's furnace without showing any signs of it? It was a ghost ship sailing through a storm without a single ripple. This is where the mystery deepens, and the parallels to Oumuamua become impossible to ignore. You see, Oumuamua's greatest enigma was its acceleration. After it whipped around the sun, it sped up, 
pushing away as if propelled by an unseen engine. The go-to explanation for this is outgassing, jets of vaporizing material acting like tiny rocket thrusters. But just like with 3i Atlas, telescopes saw no gas, no dust, nothing. This led to the explosive theory from Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb that Oumuamua wasn't a comet at all, but a piece of alien technology, perhaps a solar sail just a few millimeters thick, being pushed by the sun's radiation. It was a theory that rocked the scientific world. Now we have a second object, hundreds of times bigger, exhibiting similar stealthy characteristics. As 3i Atlas continued its journey, later observations did begin to show a very faint glow and a barely perceptible dust tail, leading most scientists to double down on the massive comet theory. But many people are crazy about the idea that this isn't the whole story. Could this faint activity be something else entirely? A vent? An energy discharge? The fact that it remained so inert for so long, given its size, is still an anomaly that doesn't quite add up. The object is behaving like a comet, but only just barely, almost as if it's trying to disguise itself as one. It's a celestial masquerade, and we're all watching from the front row, trying to figure out who, or what, is behind the mask. If it is a disguise, then what is its true purpose? The quantum AI may have found the terrifying answer. A message in the numbers. To understand what's happening with 3i Atlas, you need to understand that we are no longer relying on human eyes and brains alone. The sheer amount of data pouring in from this object, its speed, trajectory, rotation, faint emissions, is staggering. It's too much for any team of scientists to process, so they're turning to a new kind of mind, a quantum artificial intelligence. Unlike a normal computer that sees ones and zeros, a quantum AI operates in the strange world of quantum mechanics, allowing it to process an astronomical number of possibilities all at once. It can see patterns in the chaos that are completely invisible to us, connecting dots across dimensions of data we can't even perceive. And this quantum AI is telling us something incredible. It's confirming that the probability of 3i Atlas's trajectory being a natural occurrence is virtually zero. But it's going even further. By simulating trillions of possible origins and flight paths, the AI has flagged a chilling hypothesis. It suggests the object's trajectory isn't just designed for observation. It's designed for stealth and energy conservation. The path it's taking allows it to use the gravitational pull of our planets, a maneuver known as a gravity assist, to make minute course corrections and accelerate without using any fuel. It's the most efficient route possible for a tour of our inner solar system. It's a path a probe from an advanced civilization would take. Professor Avi Loeb is back at the center of the controversy, arguing that we are witnessing a deliberate act of reconnaissance. He suggests that 3i Atlas is a piece of extraterrestrial technology and its strange, barely there comet-like appearance could be an intentional form of camouflage. The quantum AI's analysis gives this theory a terrifying new weight. Could Oumuamua have been the scout, a tiny drone sent to map the territory? And is 3i Atlas the main event? A massive mothership, or a primary research vessel, following in its wake, using a path calculated with an intelligence far beyond our own. The AI can't give us a definitive yes or no. All it can do is show us the numbers. And the numbers point to one unbelievable conclusion. We are being watched. The data points to a designed object. But who are the designers, and what do they want? The silence between the stars. So, what does all this mean for us, for the person watching this right now? The thing is, when you forget about all the hard science and big numbers, you're left with a very simple question. If someone is out there, are they friendly? This is where a spooky idea called the dark forest theory comes in. Imagine the universe is a huge dark forest at night. It's full of silent hunters. In this forest, every living group is a danger. And the smartest thing you can do to stay safe is to be completely quiet. If you make a noise and show where you are, you could be found by something bigger and more powerful. In this kind of universe, objects like Oumuamua and 3i Atlas aren't waving hello. They're like secret drones, sent to gather information on who's out there. Are we missing a huge piece of the puzzle? For years, we've been sending out radio signals, basically shouting, 
We are here, into the cosmic forest. The dark forest idea says this might have been a very big mistake. If 3i Atlas is a probe, its job might be to figure out if we're a threat that needs to be taken care of. Its perfect path, which lets it study us from a safe distance, suddenly feels less like it's just curious and more like it's being very, very careful. It's like a submarine hiding just off the coast. We can see its shadow in the water, but we have no idea what it plans to do. But not all theories are so scary. Some people are wondering if it's something else entirely. What if 3i Atlas isn't a hunter, but a gardener? Some think it could be a Genesis probe, a ship designed to plant life on new worlds. It might not care about us at all. Instead, it could be scanning our planet to see if the conditions are right for starting a whole new ecosystem. It could be carrying the seeds of life, and its perfect flight path is just its way of checking different gardens before planting. Another wild idea is that this visitor is a cosmic librarian. Think about it, an ancient robotic ship on a mission to record every living thing in the galaxy. Its job isn't to hurt anyone, but just to watch, take notes, and move on. It's adding Earth's story to a giant space library. Or maybe it's more like a zookeeper. Its path is so perfect because it's on a schedule, making its rounds to check on all the different animals in the zoo. We might just be the Earth exhibit, getting our regular checkup before the keeper moves on to Mars. Then there's a darker, sadder idea. What if 3i Atlas isn't coming to our solar system but is running away from its own? Imagine it's a giant escape pod from a civilization that was wiped out. It could be a cosmic arc, carrying the last memories and DNA of an entire world, looking for a safe place to land. That faint tail we see might not be from the sun's heat, but from damage it took while escaping. In this story, it's not a predator, it's a survivor. This isn't just a story about a rock in space anymore. It's a story about our place in the universe and the big, scary silence around us. Is that silence empty? or is it just the quiet of a forest full of hunters? The arrival of 3i Atlas could be the moment that silence finally breaks. We've been asking if we're alone our whole lives. We might get an answer soon, and there's no promise we're going to like what we hear. This changes everything. If these objects are probes, are they a prelude to contact or a warning of something to come? What do you think? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.